not exactly a review, I just thought I'd unbox this. And I thought, why not? So, Vido Lifestyle Wireless Selfie Stick Handheld and Tripod Function. It has a remote shutter. This came from Poundland. This was four whole pounds. The main reason for this was because um, this happened. My tripod snapped. It's only a teeny tiny tripod and I'm sure I could easily get hold of another one like this, but I couldn't. And I needed something, so I went with this. I could have gone with the tripod tripod, but I didn't. I went with this. So let's open this thing up and take a look. So, oh yeah, and there's the barcode. It's really long. So this is the stick. In here is a lanyard thingy and a piece of paper. So that sticks to the bottom so you can keep it secure, which I probably never use. And then we've got, oh, instructions. On, off, switch, tripod, phone, tripod. So yeah, that's that. Got that. There's the instructions, the English instructions. Doesn't say a lot. The other side's completely blank. Excellent. So, we got this. With going by the pictures, so we must do that. And there's the button thingy, and you've got the little tabby thingy that you can take out if you want. Because I didn't really want it for that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that turns. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, that's where your phone goes, or you can have it this way round. We can have it slightly off on a weird angle, if you want. Cool. Wonder how long that's going to last. That is a very good question, which I probably will find out eventually. And it stretches, because it is a selfie stick. And you can see, this is where the legs are. Because if you look at the picture, here, the legs are here, they're just held in place. So, I'm assuming this bit, oh yeah, that comes up and then the legs fall out. We'll make this bit shorter because otherwise you'll see nothing. Um, I'm assuming there's a bit more to it than that. Uh, it looks like this goes to the bottom. Wow, that's stiff. Okay, it doesn't quite go to the bottom. It will. Oh, it does sort of go to the bottom. Does that hold it in place? Because I've got no instructions. Well, for this part. Oh, it fixes one leg. But I'm assuming there's something else to this. Let's pull this over here, because I can't. Maybe I should take the little button tab thing off. Or maybe not. Hold on a minute. So this bit comes off, so you can do it remotely. Not interested in that bit. So... This does indeed spin around here and it sort of goes down to a point. It's really stiff. It is super stiff. So that goes down there and then it does sort of not do anything, which is weird. I'm assuming there's something else. And considering how extensive the instructions were, they're brilliant. Okay. Okay, how's this work? Okay, that turns, sort of. Anything else turn? I don't want to snap this thing, because this doesn't work. I want to take this back. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah. This bit spins. So you put that round there, and... 
Ah, that's the secret of the thing. I think it's a bit too tall. It's a lot taller than this. Anyway, we'll get past that one eventually. But yeah, okay, so that's all holds there. So that hold, that answers that question. It's got the bit of the, this end and I can turn it around so it's vertical or horizontal. Ah, okay. It would be nice to have um, instructions how to do this. Because it's got, or maybe it does, rotate connection between tripod and metal rod, right to lock tripod. Be nice to have a bit more instructions. I know it's just got like two or three languages and a stamp. Maybe they could have put more. Maybe I should have read it. Or maybe they could have put something on the box. Who knows? But yeah, this is this. Let's see how I'll get on with this. Shall we? Um, oh yeah, this was four pounds. I could have got the tripod one, which was smaller, which was also four pounds. Maybe I should have got that. But anyway, thanks for your patience, and this is now unboxed. Bye-bye.